I'm Dr. Adam Fields. You are about to strengthen your knees, but beforehand, I'd like you to roll on the foam roller and lacrosse ball for at least 15 minutes on your outer legs and glutes. Go ahead and lie on your back. Let's put the foam roller or a pillow under your knees. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna straighten your right leg and really bring the toe back. Straighten the leg as hard as you possibly can. Make it like, like a piece of bamboo, just totally straight. You really wanna wring those muscles out. We're reconnecting your brain and your muscles. Good, give it your last hard bit for three, two, one. Now let this relax, straighten the other leg. The toe comes back, the leg gets straightened as hard as you can again. Really focusing on that inner part of your knee. It's called the vastus medialis. This is going to protect your knee and help your patella track beautifully during all kinds of athletic sports, getting in and out of your car, hopping through a stream, whatever you do. Now let it relax and let's go to the other side. Straighten that leg again. The toe is back. I want you to push down into the roller and feel your glute. Feel that glute contract. That glute is gonna protect your knee also. Now let's point and flex. Point and flex, good. Pointing the toe, flexing it back. Pointing the toe, flexing it back. Good, let it relax. Extend the left one. Push it down in, good. That glute is engaged, the quads are engaged. Now point the toe and bring it back. Point it and bring it back. Tibialis anterior right here, another great muscle to protect and help your knee function wonderfully. Let's go ahead and relax that and let's go with the right. So your right leg is totally engaged. Give it all you got. You're pointing the toe, you're bringing it back. Pointing the toe, bringing it back. This is preparing you for our next series of exercises. Glutes engaged, quads are engaged, work in the ankle, you're doing beautiful. Let's go ahead and relax that. And the left one gets good. Work that muscle, work it. Give it everything you've got. Give it everything you've got. Push the leg into the foam roller. And we're gonna go ahead and let it relax. And now face down. Great, you're face down. Let's go ahead and bend that left leg. I want the bottom of your foot to come up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do 15 of these and just kick, kick, feel your glutes engage. Try and keep the front of your hips right on the mat. You're really feeling these glutes engage. Make sure that's 90 degrees or you can even flex it a little bit more. And your knee, wants, if it wants to come out, you wanna bring it in a little bit and just kick, feel those glutes. We're gonna go ahead with three, two, one. Straighten that leg, let's go with the other. And push up. The glutes are totally underrated. We want those glutes. We want them working for you. They're gonna help your low back. They're gonna protect your knees. You're gonna go upstairs and feel those glutes engaging. Keep going, push, push. Little range of motion in the beginning. Let your body get used to this and then start pumping up that range of motion. And keep that knee tracking in, not splaying out. Two and one. Let's go with the other leg. This time we're gonna go leg straight. Tighten your leg, straighten it as much as you can, the left leg, and lift. And bring it down, we're gonna do 15 of these. Straighten that leg like it's bamboo. Go for it, just like we did with the quad sets on the previous exercise. That glute is just firing right there. Notice the toe is just pointed straight down. You want everything straight. So you're contracting the quads, contracting the glutes, contracting the tibialis anterior, and your hip is down on the mat. Glutes are firing right now. Three, two, one, let's switch. Go to the right and lift. Good, get something out of this. 
really get it. This is gonna help you so much. Every part of your life, every part of your vertical life is going to be helped. Make sure that toe stays straight down. No external rotation, straight down, beautiful. Notice how his leg is totally straight. Straighten your leg, go for it. Just a few more, three, two, one more, one. Okay, next, next one, lift the left leg again. Straighten the leg as much as you can. I want you to feel that glute the entire time. Don't let that glute let up and bend the knee and straighten. Bend and straighten. You're taking your leg through its full range of motion here, your knee, and it helps hydrate it. You wanna really increase that synovial fluid moving around in your knee. We want a full range of motion with the glute engaging. Nice. Perfect mechanics. Nice, just a few more. Ready? One, two, one more, three. Let's go with the other side. That's it, lifting that right leg, bending it, straightening it, bending it and straighten it. You're gonna have great knees, it's time. Here you go, you're doing it right now. You're doing exactly what you've needed to do and your body's gonna reward you for it. Great, feel the glutes. Don't lose that feeling on the glutes. Tap inside, close your eyes if you have to and just focus on the glutes. Focus on the knee pointing straight down on the ground. Lubricated knee, three, two, one more. Give it all you got, and one. Now let's go ahead and lie on your back. Great, you're on your back. We're gonna bend that left knee, put your foot on the ground, and straighten your right leg as hard as you can. You know how I like that leg straighten as hard as it can. The toe is pointed out, and you're gonna lift your leg, and as you lift it, rotate the leg in, and then bring it down and rotate it back out. When you bring it up, we're gonna do 15 of these, and you're gonna bring it to this level, no higher. The leg goes out and it comes in. You're really gonna feel that VMO firing if you're doing this right. If you're not, you won't. And we need you to straighten that leg as hard as you can. VMO fires with extension and internal rotation. Put your hands on your abs. I want you to feel your abs because your abs are going to be engaged. The only thing that's moving is this leg. You're stabilizing with your abs. Let's go for three, two, straighten as hard as you can for the last one, and one. Now bend your right leg, put your foot on the ground, straighten your left leg, bring your toe back, and let's lift. And rotate as you bring it up. That pelvis is stable, those abs are engaged, and that VMO is just what you feel right now. It's going to protect, going to track properly. Just fire it up, fire up your leg. If you do fewer reps, that's fine, I want them done right. The rotation, the extension, the abs engaged, the head is not lifting up, the head is down. Feel the lower abs a little on this. Great, let's two and one and switch. We're gonna do another set. Bend the left knee, straighten the right leg. This time we're gonna bring it out kind of wider. So bring it out, out wide and lift it and bring it all the way in. You're gonna feel that adductor, you're gonna feel that VMO. Right there, that's your focus. Abs are engaged. Even, even, even take out that lordosis a little bit. Feel those lower abs and work that leg. You're getting great rehab for your knee right now. Let's go for three, two, and one. Here we go, next one. Straighten the left leg, bring it out wide, and bring it in. 
out wide, externally rotating, internally rotating, externally rotating, internally rotating. Don't forget to straighten that leg as hard as you can. Abs are engaged, body is totally stable. You're totally in control of your body. You're telling it what to do. You're beating it into submission. You're driving the system, sending messages from your brain to your leg and back again, telling it what to do. Take ownership here. And three, and two, and one. Let's go ahead and lie on your side for some clams. Okay, you're on your side. You can use your foam roller as a pillow. I want you to stack your shoulders one over the other. Stack your hips. And let's bend the knees at 90 degrees. We're gonna do some clams. The feet are, are touching one another and the knees are opening. Go ahead. Perfect, you're feeling those glutes. Make sure the hips stay stacked. Stacked, there it is, it makes it a little more difficult. Put a little arch in your low back, we want a good posture, the chest is up, feeling really a good part of those glutes. Chest is up, always wanna breathe, always breathing with these exercises, never holding your breath. Good, really squeeze at the end. Three, two, one, Go ahead on your back. We're gonna take the foam roller, put it between your bent knees, bring those heels close to the glutes, lift your toes and lift the heel, lift the glutes. This is a bridge, let's hold it up there. Let's really work it. I want you to squeeze your knees together, push through the heels, feel the glutes engaged, not the hamstrings. You may wanna push on your hamstrings and make sure they're not engaged and make sure, just touch those glutes, make sure they are working hard. They should be like rocks right now. Good, we don't wanna push the elbows down so you can really bring the arms up so you're just using pure glutes. Now let's go ahead and pulse it, just a little bit up and down, not too much, pulse it. Good, for 15. You're really gonna feel these glutes. Remind those knees to squeeze that foam roller and pushing straight down the, the shaft of your tibia right there. Straight down. Good, squeeze. Beautiful. Three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side and do clams on the other side. Clans on the other side. Again, stack your shoulders, stack your hips, bend your knees about 90 degrees and open it on up. A little arch in the low back, chest is up, breathing, good posture. You don't need to look down for this. Everything you do is programming that posture, so we always want good posture with whatever we do. Never do a set hunched over like this. Chest is up. Really opening that, push into that range of motion. Find your end range of motion and squeeze a little bit more. Feeling that glute. Two and one. Now go ahead on your back. We're gonna do some bridging again. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. Lift your hips up. You're gonna lift, if you can do this, okay, if not just do the, do the two legs, but lift your right leg. Excellent, straighten that right leg. Lifting, coming out, bringing those hips. Make sure your hips are level. You're pushing straight down that tibia and do some pulsing now. Coming down a little bit, up a little bit. Down a little bit, up a little bit. Really feeling that glute activation right now. The toe is up, pushing right down here. Even squeeze that roller a little bit more. Might even feel a little stretch right here in the quad because you're pushing up so high. Notice we're not pushing down here with the elbows. Two and one, and switch. And lift and hold a little bit, let's really establish it. Squeeze this together, pelvis is level, elbows aren't pushing in, now we can pulse. The toe is up, pushing straight down. Feel the glutes. Good, let's count it down. And three, 
two, and one. Go ahead on your side, we're gonna do some more VMO. You can use that foam roller as a pillow. I want you to put your right leg on the floor and put the foot directly on the floor. Straighten your left leg, toe back. It's gonna be a little challenging. Good posture, body aligned, and we're gonna lift that left leg. Lift, VMO activation again. Keep going, let's pulse it, 15. Straighten that leg. This is a discipline. In the beginning, you may just wanna lift it and hold it and straighten the leg. Because if you're doing a set and you're not straightening the leg, it's not taking you in the right direction. You want that leg locked out, okay? So just up and hold if you can't do the set, no big deal. Two and one. Now we're gonna do the top leg. Straighten the top leg. And let's stack those hips again. Straighten the top leg as hard as you can. And now lift. Good, we're only gonna do 10 on this one. Again, stack the hips. Bring those hips around. And let's make that body totally straight. Bring the leg back a little bit. There it is. And bring the hips over. Two and one. Let's do the bottom leg again. Foot goes flat on the ground. Bottom leg straight and lift. And lift. Lift. Straighten the leg even more. When you come up, you don't have to come up so high. If you keep the leg straight, keep the leg straight. Ooh, he's getting it. And you're getting it too. Three and two and one. Let's get the top leg. Straighten the leg as hard as you can and lift. Chest is up, arch it, give it good posture. Your body should be in one line, in one line. We're doing 10 on this. Lift it high, chest is up, feel deep into those glutes. Two and one. Good, let's go ahead and turn around to the other side. So we got the, bot the top leg again, foot flat on the ground, bottom leg straight, squeeze it as hard as you can, straighten it, and lift. You're getting better with every rep. Every rep counts right now. Every rep is taking you closer to your goal. Every rep is gonna get you better function in your life. Every rep gets you better strength. Don't waste a rep, do it right. Straighten that leg as hard as you can, as hard as you can. Two and one, let's get the outside leg. Straighten as hard as you can, chest is up, body is totally lined up, there it is. Feeling it, it deep in the back of the glutes even. Straightening the leg, again, I know I keep saying it, but straighten the leg, alrighty. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Bottom leg again, you can do it. Lifting that leg, straightening it as hard as you can. Engage the abs, chest is up. You're totally in control of your body. You're taking control of it, taking command of it. It's your servant. It will do what you want it to do. If you don't use it, you lose it. But if you use it, you can expand your territory. Three, and two, and one. Let's do the outer leg. Straighten and lift. Stack those hips. Chest is up. Good form. Fewer reps is better. With better form, you don't want to lose the form. I don't care if you do three reps. Just great form. Speaking of three, we got three, two, you can do it, doing great, and one. It's time to stand up and take some inventory of how you feel. If you're feeling strong, let's go on to the squat series. If not, no worries. Go ice your knees and we'll pick it up later. Go ahead and stand up. Feet are about three inches beyond hip distance. Hands are behind your head. We're gonna go really shallow and as you get stronger, we're gonna go deeper and deeper. The weight is on the heels. You're pushing, driving through the heels and again, feeling those glutes. The chest is up, you're leading with your chest. We're gonna do about 12 here. 
nice and slow. No need to go fast. If you can only do six reps right now, that's not a problem. It's more about doing it correctly and your body feeling strong. Let's go for three, two, one. We do little calf raises right now. Put your hands behind your head and just coming up. Coming up with those calves, working the calves. You work the extensors on the lower leg, let's work the calves. Calves are excellent. Let's shoot up stairs when we see them. Forget the elevator, let's take the stairs. Good. Get that peak contraction. If you have to hold on to something right now, that's not a problem either. This is your exercise. Let's go for three, two, and one. Another set of squats. Widen the legs a little bit. Chest is up. Arch the low back. You see those guys in the Olympics? They do those squats. They've got 400 pounds. Their, their spines are arched. Your spine is 16 times stronger with the proper curves in it. Pushing through. Don't want to feel the quads as much as you want to feel your glutes. Pushing through the heels. Engage the inner thighs a little bit. Three, two, and one. We're gonna do a little lunge stretch. Put your right leg forward, your left leg back. Good, put your hands over your head. Interlace your fingers, chest up, and lean to the right. You're feeling a hip flexor stretch right now. The glutes engaged on the right side. The ribs are really opening up, so your breathing is just getting expanded right now. The chest is up. Take a big breath right through that. Good, keep the abs slightly engaged for stability. The knee is behind the ankle right now. This lunge stretches. Wonderful for you. Let's go ahead and switch. Left leg forward, right leg back. Chest up, straighten the arms. Use your triceps here. Lean to the left. Opening up the ribs, opening up. When we fix posture, we notice lung capacity gets better. I see it every day in my office. Straightening that right leg, the hip flexor is getting stretched out. When people are sitting, that hip flexor gets shortened, right? So we want to stretch that hip flexor. It'll bring you up and give you better posture, more lung capacity. Good, let's do another set of squats. Hands behind your head, chest is up, and coming down slowly. Good. And straighten the legs as hard as you can when you come to the top. Do a little hyper contraction of the legs. Feel the glutes. You can even contract the glutes at the top. Chest is up, push your head back into your hands, bring your elbows back, push your elbows back, pinch your shoulder blades together, bringing the chest up, and good. Three, two, give it all you got, last one, one. Great, we're gonna do a little popliteal stretch now to close it out. Chest is up, toe is up, keep the arch in the low back and come forward. I want you to feel this stretch behind your knee. It's the popliteus muscle. They call it the key to the knee. You can also put your foot against the, the frame of a door. You can put it against a couch, whatnot. You're gonna feel it right back here behind that knee. Excellent. It's even better if you point your back toe the same direction as your front toe. And switch. Chest is up, arching and diving forward, leading with the chest. Toes pointed straight ahead. Use something for stability if you need to. Bring that foot back, chest up, lean forward. You're going to feel it right behind your kneecap. And go ahead and come up. Make this a part of your regular routine and build a foundation that lasts a lifetime.